Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you some behind the scenes material from a shoot I did earlier this year for a local hair salon. First off, big thanks to my friend Victor who brought his GH5 and uh, his gimbal and shot all the behind the scenes material. Without his help, I couldn't make this video, so <laughs> big thanks. So for this assignment, my first thought was to use a slider for some of the scenes, but uh, since the time schedule and their budget was very, very small, um, this became too time consuming. So um, I went with a gimbal and a simple tripod, just to pans and tilts and uh, some basic gimbal movements and uh, it worked very very well better than i had expected actually so super happy with that i'm gonna show you a list of all the gear i used for this video i shot everything on a black magic pocket cinema camera 4k with two different lenses one is the olympus 7 to 14 f 2.8 and the other one is this 25 millimeter f 1.7 very small and very light but very good also very cheap so that's nice So here we are outside where the customers are sort of approaching the salon. We shot this from two, two different angles uh, with a gimbal and a tripod. Just making a soft pan to uh, reveal the logo on the window there as well. And uh, now we have moved inside. I rigged the 120D with the light dome yeah, tune to light the couple just uh, a bit better. And this is the final edit. And this is also color graded, of course. And here you can see the, the light setup, which I made very simple um, because we didn't have time to, to set sort of detailed lighting for every scene so i just used uh, two uh, aperture 120d mark ii uh, without any light modifier at all just uh, bounced both lights off the white ceiling and this created uh, a very soft light so it was very simple and here i'm using my uh, last of light gray card uh, this is just uh, extra Precaution, um, just to be able to check the white balance in, uh, in post. Um, I usually uh, check it with uh, my light meter or my uh, spectrometer as well to, to see uh, uh, the color balance of light. And there you can see the bowling P1. Um, I try to use this as, uh, as a highlight, but uh, I, <laughs> I could have used a more powerful light it was not very visible in the final shot as you can see here you can see on her left shoulder there or her right shoulder actually and this is the cape throwing scene which we shot I don't know maybe 25 30 times or something it was a bit difficult to to get the <laughs> to get the cape uh, flowing in the air the way we wanted it to so we shot it a lot of times and as you can see, I'm doing a tilt. I'm following uh, the hands of the hairdresser. So <laughs> fail. <laughs> but this was the final scene that we ended up using. And uh, this is the final edit. And as you can see, I use a speed ramp here as well. That's really sharp. And the previous scene I ended with uh, a motion going downwards, so this next scene I'm starting with the same 
sort of motion so I can do a, a nice transition between those two scenes. So I'm moving the camera downwards. And on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, there is no uh, continuous autofocus, so everything is manual, but it worked very, very well, I must say. I just set the focus uh, point where I wanted it and then just uh, kept that distance from, from the subject. Um, and uh, yeah, worked very well. And these are just some close-ups of uh, the hairdresser working and uh, the other hairdresser just washing hair. Uh, I was moving pretty close here to get the nice shallow depth of field. Um, and as you can see, I was shooting this in at, uh, I think, f1.7 or something. And if you compare this to uh, DSLR with the full frame sensor, this is about, uh, I mean, if you compare the depth of field, this is about uh, f3.5. And here you can see the final edit. And this movement is a bit tricky, but I uh, actually uh, got it to work because I'm raising the gimbal at the same time as I'm turning it. So. You can see a little, a little uh, twitch right there. Uh, I don't like that, but uh, <laughs> I got it to work. And there we have a reveal as well. And we ended the scene with a blur to uh, make a transition to the next scene. This is also a very simple gimbal movement. Uh, it worked very well. This is the final edit. Serving the coffee and the snacks and just barely touching the candles right there. And this scene was not really planned. Um, they wanted some kind of like B-roll of their products just to show that they're a uh, Redken certified salon. So uh, yeah. Uh, here we ended with uh, like a basic gimbal movement, just moving outwards. And then we have the logo to uh, round it off. That's it for this video. Hope you liked it and found it useful. If you did, please click the like and subscribe button and I will be very happy. See you in the next video. Bye.